Hello everybody, welcome back. It's Monday! And if you are new here, I'm Paige, and on Mondays, we talk about endangered species and do my makeup to look like them. So, today's species is the monarch butterfly. Um, as you can see, I've done one side already to save time. <laughs> and we're gonna just hop right into this video and we're gonna learn about the monarch butterfly. Stick around. And as always, I'm going to just link everything down below in the description box. So let's just start off with some facts about them. So they weigh less than half a gram, which is less than a paper clip weighs. So that's um <laughs> small. And they have a wingspan of four inches. They're so cute. I love them. And they have a habitat of forests and mountains. So they travel between 1,200 and 2,800 miles or more, honestly, from the United States and Canada to Mexico for their forests. So from there, butterflies hibernate in the mountain forests because the climate change is less extreme and provide a better chance of survival because here winters nuts here so the monarch butterfly is known by scientists as the danes plexippus which in greek literally means sleepy transformation how fitting so the adult monarch monarch butterflies have two pairs of brilliant orange wings, orange and red wings, featuring black veins and white spots along the edges. So the males actually have these two black dots along the veins that distinguish them from a female. And they're also just slightly larger than a female butterfly. So this next fact was, um, absolutely mind-blowing to me each adult butterfly only lives take a guess i'll wait four to five weeks what Pfft, my mind is blown the monarch butterfly exhibits the most highly evolved migration pattern of any species of butterfly or moth or even perhaps any known insect. So some threats. Climate change threatens the monarch butterfly and their annual migration pattern. Weather conditions affecting wintering grounds and summer grounds. The cooler, wetter winters could be lethal to these creatures in hotter, drier summers could shift suitable habitats back up north. And yes, I'm using a SpongeBob brush. So the WWF's 2013 report from Mexico showed that the number of monarch butterflies wintering there was at its lowest in 20 years. That's so sad. The number is measured by the amount of forest that they occupy. In 2013, the number of butterfly acres decreased from seven to three. It's like in half. That's not good. And abnormal patterns of drought and rainfall in the US and Canada may have caused adult butterfly deaths and less plant food for caterpillars. And the fewer butterflies up north mean the fewer that migrate to Mexico for the winter. So habitat loss is also a big threat. Monarchs need mountain force in Mexico for their winter habitat. However, nearby human communities also rely on them and create pressure on the forests through agriculture and tourism. Why do we need everything? 
Why are we greedy? In the US, monarchs need places to reproduce and feed. However, herbicide use is killing the milkweed plant, which is their primary food source. All right, so this is a part where I'm going to do this eye um, and I'll be back with this eye done to talk about what the WWF is doing.
The WWF works to preserve vital butterfly habitat in Mexico's Monarch Butterfly Reserve by working with the Mexican government, local communities, and other partners to promote good forest management and sustainable tourism. WWF also supports tree nurseries that help restore the forest and the reserve, which creates new sources of income for the local communities that live in that region. The U.S. is taking steps to preserve monarch habitat by working with many U.S. food companies and other environmental organizations to help farmers increase the biodiversity on their lands and reduce the impact that crop production had, has on our environment. Well, that's it. I hope you guys learned something about the monarch butterfly. I hope you enjoyed this little look tutorial. Um, if you guys like this, like learning about more endangered species and animals, feel free to let me know in the comments below. You can also let me know by liking this video and subscribing to my channel to see more of these every Monday. So thank you guys so much for watching. As always, stay safe. Bye.